Hello, peeps. Did you hear the one about the two stamps kissing? <laughs> I know, it sounds like it should be a joke. Uh, there is no punchline other than you get an awesome result. Look at that. So it is not actually Tuesday, but I am gonna show you a technique. It's actually Saturday and it is a lovely rainy day out. Um, I've taken my son to hockey, we've come back and now I'm catching up on weeks, weeks and weeks worth of projects that I'm behind on. So I'm finishing up the cards from a previous Technique Tuesday and I'm, I'm going for a certain look and I don't have a stamp that gives me the look I want, but I know what I want. So here's what I, uh, here's what I remembered I knew how to do and what I'm gonna show you guys how to do. So I was playing for a minute, just sorry, I should have washed my stamp first. Okay, so this is the stamp I wanna use. My penguins need to have some, some clothes on. Um, they're looking a little naked on the card. So if I use this stamp, I get a lovely, <clears throat> nothing wrong with it, pool party scarf. The thing is, I don't want a pool party scarf, I want a striped scarf. So <clears throat> I don't, the, 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 the stamp's not striped, but I want stripes. So as it turns out, kissing. So this is where two stamps are gonna kiss. Now this stamp is actually from a different stamp set that I put, oh, this is from the Sparkle of the Season stamp. And that's this one. So this is this here, which is a spruce bath, right? But it is the right kind of stamp for what I need to do. So what you need to make sure is that you have a line stamp. So it can't be a solid image stamp that is like the reverse um, where you're, the lines are because that's solid, a solid color around it. Like it needs to be just a line stamp. So that's what I have for this one. I thought I was gonna totally luck out because I'm like, oh, maybe this scarf that has the little part hanging down on the tree matches the scarf. They don't, but it, for what we're doing, it doesn't really matter. So what I want is a pool party scarf. So I'm gonna ink up my pool party with navy blue stripes. So I'm gonna ink up my bow in navy. Now, because I was playing earlier and I tried before, straight on navy is a little too strong. So I'm gonna stamp off once. And then, so now I have, I still haven't collected on my blue, my navy stamp, and I'm freshly inked up, I'll do it again, with pool party. Now this is the very critical step in this process. You have to make sure that when you do this, you make the big smooch noise or it just will not work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line one stamp up over the other one and we're gonna go, and I'm gonna stamp my Knight of Navy onto my pool party. And I missed a little bit, but I think it's still gonna work. So now when I stamp, oops, just a minute. Now I have a striped scarf which if I could hold still and let it focus, you'd be able to see. So it's not exactly striped, it's more just patterned, but it gives me something. Now in this case, oh, don't do that. <laughs> make sure, because you have Knight of Navy on this previously, make sure you use your really disgusting looking, but very, very effective stamp and chamois to, I just about stuck that all the way in the ink pad, to take the navy blue off, because this color is lighter. Um, it would put navy blue into the ink pad and then it would screw up your ink pad and your project. So don't do that. Okay, so I, I think I squished them a little too hard because I made it a little bit fuzzy. So I'm gonna try again. But that gets, means you just get a repeat. So there's my pool party. There's my Knight of Navy, which I'm going to stamp off once so it's not quite so strong. I'm going to, without being able to see, because I'm trying to do it for the camera, you see my scarf underneath. So I'm just trying to put this over top so that I get coverage on the whole thing. I told you, you gotta, you gotta make the sound effects. And then straight down onto the paper. Oh, that one worked out so much better. Okay, so look at that bad boy. Ta-da! So now I have a striped scarf. Now, and the reason I wanted that, believe it or not, this is how particular I get sometimes, is because this toque, here, I'll show you on the stamp set, because on this toque, it has like the little knitted, like flipped up brim on it. It's kind of stripey looking. So this just seemed too plain to me. And I am going to attempt to make the top of the hat also be stripey, because that's proper English. So we're gonna dip the hat now 
in. And we're going to dip our bow back in. And we're going to dip our or stamp our bow off. Now this one's going to be a little trickier. This is just a little peck. <laughs> See how many stamp stamp analogies I can or kissing analogies I can come up with because I don't want to stamp these lines over top of of the brim. I just want to stamp it over top of the part that doesn't have any pattern on it. Oh, look at that. And then, oh, see, I'm surprised it worked because I didn't make the kissing sound. And then, ta -da! partially stamped. And that one actually does look striped because by magic, I, I actually hit it just perfect. So there we go. Now I have the stamp or the scarf and the tube the way I want. Now I just have to fussy cut them out and put them on the card. And you'll just have to wait and see what it looks like. Oh, look at that cliffhanger. Thanks for watching this far. Watch for the post that comes after this and you will see the final product of this and all of the other Technique Tuesday cards I did with the Stamparatus. Thanks everyone. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Tuesday.